Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about a topic that I've been asked about a lot on Tumblr and that is um, fatigue during recovery. Uh, I remember a month or two ago, um, a girl asked, or someone, I don't know if it was a guy, I don't remember, um, actually asked me a question on Tumblr, like asking me to incorporate, incorporate the subject of tiredness in my video. So this is for you, if you remember who you are, they asked on Anonymous, I'm pretty sure, so um, I can't really address who it is, but um, I thought it was a really good topic to talk about in a video because fatigue affects everyone in recovery, trust me. So um, this person had a couple questions for me that I'm going to answer for you. I've been in recovery for like a year and a half now, so more than a year and a half, so I sort of know these stuff. <laughs> I've been weight restored and all that stuff, so I sort of know how it goes. Um, but I'm not an expert on recovery, don't worry, because obviously I'm not recovered, so. <laughs> um, and I'm not weight restored anymore, but. So yeah, the first question was, how come once they start eating normally, they're more tired? And this is a very popular question, and um, I've asked professionals before. And the reason is because you're eating more normally so your metabolism is regulating itself and so everything is like going crazy inside your body and um like your metabolism is speeding up so it takes up more energy and you're just not used to it so it makes you more tired so it's completely normal to like once you're eating like three meals a day three snacks a day you are done at the end of the day you're so tired from eating <laughs> um, and i know that's sort of weird but don't worry it doesn't last for that long um maybe a month it'll stay like that and then after that you'll get used to it a month max um, of eating normally the next question is why are you so exhausted at the beginning of recovery and that's basically like the same reason sort of like um because your body is in such a shock that something's changing and that um your metabolism is changing your organs are like starting to work super hard to like recover itself from the physical damage you did um because no matter what your weight is and what eating disorder you have, it always has a toll on your body because what you're doing is not normal. And um, your body's not used to that, it's not programmed for that. So your body's just getting used to being more normally. That's why you're so exhausted at the beginning. And then, how much time does it take for you to be more energetic? Um, I'd say that if you're at a low weight, um, you definitely have to gain like some weight to feel more energetic once you start eating again. Um, I remember that I started recovering in like November of 2012 and I restarted my sports in like March of 2014, so like five, six months later, March, April. Um, it takes about like that much. And by that time I had gained, my BMI had gone up like maybe two points. Um, so yeah, that's sort of like to give you, uh, -uh scale I guess <laughs> and but yeah it's not gonna happen right away and that you have to stick to recovery because recovery is very hard but it'll be worth it trust me um I know that a lot of you don't know like how long it'll take to change like to see changes in your energy and your body and stuff it's very gradual so um just as it takes a while to gain weight it'll take a while for you to get your energy back um it's always easier if you've been suffering from your eating disorder not as long as others um so yeah, I mean, the easier, the faster you catch on, the easier it'll be to recover and for you to get your energy back. And the last question this person had was how to fight fatigue besides caffeine and sleep. Um, honestly, I'm a very big abuser of caffeine. I will drink so much coffee just to make myself feel awake. Plus, I like the taste of coffee. And um, I don't like sleeping. <laughs> I feel really lazy when I sleep. I don't know. It's like a really weird, like, OCD thing. I feel like if I'm not doing anything, I feel so useless, but, um, are any of you guys like that? So, um, obviously sleeping will help you, and um, for some people, to get more energy, they actually go and exercise, which is like my mom, <laughs> but those people, I don't think it's a very good idea if you're in eating disorder sort of recovery to go exercise, <laughs> uh, but definitely eat good food. Like, obviously, just eat pizza and chips all day. You're not going to be feeling very energized. Um, try to eat, like, your vegetables, your fruits, your carbs, your protein, um, stuff like that. And that'll make you feel really energized. I know that protein helps with concentration. So if you're concentrated, 
then that'll help you feel more energized too. I think that going out on walks helps feeling more energized. It seems sort of like counterproductive, but um, I'm serious. Like if you go for a short walk outside in the sun, um, just getting some fresh air will help you feel more energized. Um, for me, like I open up my blinds on a sunny day, I feel instantly energized. Um, I know some people just aren't into the sun, like and they don't like summer, but I do. So um, I feel the sun really helps my mood and helps me feel more energized. Mm -hmm. Other than that, caffeine, obviously, but that's fake energy. My doctor always told me that was fake energy caffeine. That's not real energy. Real energy comes from calories. <laughs> calories are happy points, you know? <laughs> They're like little energy balls. <laughs> I'm just trying to make calories sound cool because they are. Like, you need calories to survive. Um, to have energy. Basically, keep up what you're doing. Keep on eating normally. Um, for the person that asked this question, um, you're probably doing a lot better by now if you continued eating normally, and if not, let me know, because I remember you asked this question a month or two ago, so I've been sort of slow to answer my questions on Tumblr in case you haven't noticed, but um, I'm getting to it. So I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any other tips, feel free to share them down below to help each other, and um, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me on Tumblr, Instagram, email. I check my email now, my connected to this YouTube, so. Um, yeah, I guess that's all. Thanks for watching. Bye!